Now we've just had a fascinating interaction here everybody. These elephants were spread out all over this junction and I think they'd kind of wandered away from each other such that we managed, we, when we drove in here the babies were separated from the big cow you're looking at now and they got a fright and they all kind of stopped and they listened and they realized that if we wanted to we could have got in between them and she turned to face us and gave her its kind of rumbling order and then they moved into the bush let's just move around the corner here I think there are quite a few down here now there are a few more in front there these chaps were a little bit nervous of us for some reason there they go there Hello Tasha, a good question from you about elephants and where their movements, whether they come into this area uh, or if, if this is just the same herd of elephants we're seeing all the time. Tasha, eh, we certainly do see some of the same elephants all the time. You had that half trunk herd that we uh, so named today. You had them at Bivelshoek Dam. We see them quite often. But they do roam very widely. So lots of the elephants we see here we've never seen before. Uh, lots of them will come on to this reserve for a little while and then they'll disappear. Look at the suckling there, isn't that amazing? It's getting quite big for suckling that one. will definitely be on the solids as well. So Tasha, many of the elephants here we won't have seen before and many of the ones that we do see regularly will disappear for sometimes months. They'll go into the Kruger, they'll go north into the Manuleti, perhaps to the Timbavati, south into the southern reaches of the Kruger and they will range very widely indeed. It's always seemed to me that that um, sort of arrangement there, the way a an elephant has to has to suckle, always looks to me like it's quite awkward. But it seems to be fairly effective. And so often, you know, the cow just won't stand still. She'll just keep moving and feeding, and calf's just got to get what he can. This is fantastic. And look at the hips showing there on the elephant cow. She's not looking particularly good. Hello, voter in Bristol. Uh, with your name, I'm going to assume that you probably um, are from South Africa. So, welcome home. Uh, you say... Let me just give a bit of background before I give your question uh, out. So, until 1996 or so, every year there was an elephant cull where they euthanized up to 900 elephants every year in an effort to maintain the population at about 7,500 in the Kruger Park. Uh, this was a complete thumb-suck number, and, I mean, it doesn't seem to have any scientific basis whatsoever. And Voter's question is, since that culling, uh, the last one was in 1996, he says, because of it, is there some kind of skewed age distribution amongst the elephants because of the culling? Um, where we've got an increase in youngsters and greater numbers of uh, smaller number of older ones. Voter, the answer is no, because when they did do the culling, they took out whole family groups. So they didn't take out only one age, they took out elephants of all ages. So, I mean, this is going to, this is a nasty thing to have to, or scenario to have to paint for you, but what they would have done, for example, is come into an area like this, find these elephants, and they would have uh, basically taken out the whole herd. So that youngster that's suckling, the <coughs> that's the little one shouting at its mum, <laughs> and all the adults, and so they would have taken out equal numbers, and so no, I don't think the population um, age distribution is skewed at all. Thankfully, that stopped in 1996. It's one of the reasons we're able to approach these animals to the closeness that we are and that's recent that's a recent development in the next last five or six years maybe ten years but it took at least ten years for the elephants to really calm down that's the little one that's the little one trying to 
we're just having a bit of a sulk. So often we hear that and we think it must be the adults, and then you see it happening. And it's the young ones being cross in it. You see the little one there took, he's a young bull, and he wants that piece of branch that his mum was trying to eat. And Sally in Oregon, I don't know the answer to this, um, but through an intuition, you say, do the Will the elephants like that one we saw suckling there suckle longer because of the lack of food? I imagine if their mothers um, are lactating, then yes, they probably will. But remember, the lack of nutrition in the bush is going to mean that the elephants lactate slightly less. You know, in the same way that a human being mother has to eat uh, properly in order to produce sufficient milk. So it is with all the animals out here. Sweet.